Welcome back to Linux Network. The Debian project just released Debian 12.8 Bookworm, which is the latest update to the Debian 12 series. Whether you're a current Debian user or thinking about trying out this popular and stable Linux distribution, this new release brings some great updates and improvements. This is an important point release that makes Debian Bookworm more secure, reliable and up-to-date, especially for those setting up fresh installations. So, let's break it down. Let's start with a bit of context. Debian is one of the most well-known distributions praised for its stability and large community support. The Bookworm series is Debian's 12th major release, and each of these releases gets periodic updates called point releases. Debian 12.8 is the latest of these point releases for Bookworm, and it follows Debian 12.7, which came out about two months ago. Each point release, like 12.8, is focused on addressing bugs and security issues. Debian wants its users to have a smooth, secure experience, so these regular updates play a big role in that. They make Debian a strong choice for those who need a Linux system that can rely on, on everything from personal use to enterprise setups. So let's talk about what's new in Debian 12.8. One of the standout features is that Debian 12.8 uses an updated Linux kernel, specifically version 6.1 LTS. The LTS here stands for long-term support, meaning this kernel is maintained longer than usual, receiving security patches and bug fixes for years to come. This long-term stability is really beneficial for Debian users because it ensures better performance and security without needing frequent upgrades. This release also fixes a lot of bugs. To be precise, Debian 12.8 includes 68 bug fixes for various packages and 50 security updates. So, if you're installing Debian 12.8 on a new system, you'll benefit from these fixes right out of the box without needing to do a massive update after installation. In total, this helps make Debian 12.8 more secure and reliable, which is especially valuable for Debian's audience of stability-focused users. And if you're upgrading from an older version of Debian 12, updating to 12.8 ensures you're getting the latest improvements. Now, you may be wondering why Debian 12.8 is called the seventh release in this series, even though it numbers 12.8. This is because Debian 12.3 was actually skipped due to a serious issues with the ext4 file system, which is a popular Linux file system format. ext4 is widely used because it's fast and reliable, but during the 12.3 development, the Debian team found a critical issue that could lead to data corruption. To avoid risking users' data, they choose to skip that release entirely and move on to the Debian 12.4. So, Debian 12.8 is technically the seventh update in the series, even though the numbering may suggest otherwise. Now, let's talk about how you can actually get Debian 12.8. If you're planning to install it fresh on a new computer, you'll be happy to know that Debian 12.8 is now available for downloading both installation and live images. Installation images are the images you'd use if you're installing Debian from scratch. They're updated so that new installation won't need to download hundreds of updates after the initial setup, everything is already included. These installation images support multiple hardware architectures, so whether you're on a standard 64-bit system, an older 32-bit machine, or even unique systems like PowerPC and IBM's System Z, there is an option for you. Live images are great if you want to try Debian without actually installing it on your system right away. Live images are only available for 64-bit systems, but you can choose from various desktop environments such as KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, LXQT, and LXDE. There is also a standard live ISO option that doesn't include a graphical desktop, which may appeal to users wanting a minimalist setup. Now let's go a bit deeper into these desktop environments. Debian 12.8 supports some popular ones, each catering to different types of users. KDE Plasma 5.27.5 LTS KDE is known for its flexibility and customization. It's a great choice if you like a visually rich, customizable desktop. GNOME 43.9 GNOME focuses on simplicity and ease of use with a modern look and feel. It's a solid option if you prefer an uncluttered desktop. XFCE 
XFC is a lightweight environment, meaning it's fast and low in resource use, which is perfect for older systems or users who want speed over eye candy. Cinnamon 5.6.8 Originally developed for Linux Mint, Cinnamon offers a similar desktop layout that's great for Windows users switching to Linux. Mate 1.26 Mate is a continuation of the classic GNOME 2 desktop, so if you're a fan of the traditional look, this one's for you. LXQT 1.2.0 and LXDE 0.10.1 both are lightweight environments, especially good for very low spec computers. Each desktop environment has its unique feel and user base, so Debian provides options to meet a variety of preferences. If you're already running Debian 12 Bookworm, you don't need to download a new ISO file to get all these updates. You can simply upgrade to Debian 12.8 from your current installation. To update, open a terminal and run the following commands sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade. Alternatively, you can use a graphical package manager like Synaptic if you're not comfortable with the command line. Just make sure your system is connected to the internet and the package manager will handle the rest. So that's a wrap on Debian 12.8 Bookworm. This release continues Debian's commitment to stability and reliability by adding new fixes, security improvements and an updated kernel. Whether you're installing Debian for the first time or just upgrading, Debian 12.8 provides a smooth and dependable experience. If you're new to Linux or exploring different distributions, Debian Focus on stability makes it a fantastic choice. And if you're a long-time user, you'll appreciate the continued improvements that make Debian even better over time. That's it for this one, and as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.